freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are all okay as well. How you doing, how you doing? Um, we are, well, see if anyone can guess. We are in Croydon, we're in Croydon. I've got a car down the right hand side. I am taking up a little bit of your lane, mate. But obviously I have, did not take up enough. There we go, you squeeze on past. Um, yeah, we're in Croydon. Um, we are delivering roofing slate again today to Sig Roofing in Croydon. I think there's, they've got more than one branch, I think. But we're going to one that I've been to, to before. Um, I don't think I vlogged it, though. Nothing, nothing too special, if I'm honest, this place. It sort of looks like a bus station of some sort. Or not a station, but a storage area for buses. Maybe a... Uh, a garage or something, I don't know, something like that. It's like a shared a shared yard of some sort. Um, so it looks like it can get quite busy on the map, but the, I've been two times, and both times it's been quite quiet, and I've gone straight in, spun round as if to face back outwards again, and um, I've been tipped straight away. I've been, I've been quite lucky both times I've been, but um, you never know, it could be a bit more awkward today. Now, we're stopping here because there's a yellow hatch market. Even though it's a green light, you're not allowed to stop on the yellow hatch marking um so i'm reading the traffic ahead i can see the traffic in front is now moving so i'm going before the light changes by the time i get to where this green car is it will will have moved it's forward planning forward planning um so yeah i don't know what we're doing from croydon if i had to guess i would say back to Leighton buzzard and reload with some more slate um but I don't know, is, is the truthful answer, I don't know. The time currently is half past 10 in the morning. Uh, we had a little bit of a delay getting loaded. There was a bit of a queue to get loaded this morning. So we're not going to be there. We're still a good five minutes away. We're not going to be there until sort of the time we park up and stuff, quarter to 11 at the earliest. Um, it don't normally take too long to come off, maybe half an hour. So quarter past 11, half past 11, I would hope we're out of there. Might, might be wrong so we'll say 12 to be safe and then i'm not entirely sure how long it takes to get to Leighton buzzard from um from croydon and in fact thinking about it croydon because if you think about the m25 it's like a circle croydon's on the bottom half and Leighton buzzard is all the way at the top and it just seems a bit silly to go all the way up to Leighton buzzard it's quite, so i could be going anywhere really i don't think i'll be going Leighton buzzard thinking about it i could be going to any of their other branches um H and H blocks is a possibility. I think we'll be loading with H and H blocks because that's uh, near Seven Oaks, which isn't too far from here. So maybe I don't know. I don't actually know what we're doing yet, but I do like playing the guessing game and trying to guess what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go with H and H blocks. I've not done it for a couple of weeks now, but then that is also including the week off I had for Christmas. So we'll see. We'll see. Also, just recently, I've been getting asked quite a lot what's with the black eye. Long time viewers, you know, long story short, eyelashes, too long. They go into my eye. I rub my eye. Um, it causes the lashes to be damaged and bend in even more, which causes more irritation. It's an endless loop. The more I rub it, the more it's irritating, the more I bruise my eye. So that's why my eye recently, for the last year or so, it always looks like it's bruised because it's basically constant rubbing of the eye. I am undergoing uh, some sort of medical treatment to try and fix it. I got actually, I got an appointment Tuesday to, uh, to grab a machine. I think I've got to sleep with an oxygen mask on to try and uh, get more oxygen to my eyelid to potentially lift it back up again. Because that's the other issue, my eyelid is dropping a little bit. Something to do with age and yeah. Long story short, that's why my eye looks bruised. Haven't been punched. Uh, I'm not tired. 
Although, now I say that, I'm yawning. <sighs> but yeah, no fights. Not as of yet. <laughs> I think that light for the other side might be green by now. No, it's still red. I think a, a lorry just turned down there, but it says dead end. I don't know why he's gone down there. Yeah, he has. <laughs> Maybe he's part of that uh, construction roadworks. Potentially. Right, this lorry in front is slowing down and he's quite obviously lost. He's looking for something. He keeps slowing down. Where are you going, mate? Yeah, okay, he's indicating right. <laughs> he's indicating right and the traffic in front coming the other way aren't leaving a gap for him to actually turn right. This motorbike might be in trouble if he's not paying attention. Okay, that's cool. At least he's not going to the place I'm going to. It means we haven't got to wait. We're nearly here. We've just got to go down the road 700 yards and then take a right-hand turn. Can we go straight in? That's the question. Clear on the right. Lovely, right, it's not this right hand turn, it's the next one I think. Yeah, we're starting to get in this right hand turn coming up. This is the one. Is there anyone in the yard that I can see? Yes, there is, there is a something in the yard. We'll have to go on in anyway. It's very snug in here. I'm not sure where we can park, to be honest. Yeah, see both times I come in here, we've gone straight in and spun around. But there's like a very small truck in there, one of their own. I'm not really sure where I can park. Yeah, so I've been told just to uh, wait where I am for a sec. The lorry will move out the way and then I can go on in. But I'm kind of blocking the, the whole thing up. Nothing behind me, no. No, there's nothing behind me yet. Nothing wants to come out, so. I should be right where I am for a second. So yeah, he's gonna move in a second, then I'll go on in, and then we can get offloaded. So I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Right, so curtains are open, straps are off, corner boards are off, rat tips are put away. We're good to be unloaded. No one has touched us yet. We turned up at half past ten. <laughs> it's now eleven. So uh, yeah, or maybe it was quarter to ten, a quarter to eleven. We've been here fifteen minutes or so, maybe thirty minutes, just waiting to be tipped. Uh, that lorry didn't go in the end. I think he's having a break, so we're sort of parked at an angle inside the yard. But um, yeah, once uh, once they start, we'll. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> But yeah, once they start offloading us, we can then uh, maybe get some footage of them doing it. From here, we found out we're going to CNS port. We've got to get loaded with, like, cardboard tube rolls that I've done before in the past. Take that to Vista. Um, so I need to sweep the trailer because for some reason 
they need a swept trailer, so. Yes, when all this is off, uh, sweep the trailer, I will do. Right, we've got a brush. Well, that's all off, we can brush it up. Just um, carrying the slate, you get like little bits of slate come off, look. So um, with the cardboard reels, obviously that's gonna cut it, so just needs to have a nice clean bed. So when they've done that, taking it all off, I'll get up and give it a good sweep. This is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HGVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HGV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right. Oh, come over a bit hot doing that. Take the uh, hoodie off. Right, paperwork can go in there a second, out the way. That can go in the bin. Ugh. We want to go to Shoreham. So let's put that in the sat nav. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did he put Shoreham? Sheerness. Yeah, share next. So we're going to get to share next stocks for about one o'clock. Uh, it's one and a half hours to get there. So we've got enough time to get there without having a break, but we will need to have a break once we're there. So we'll get loaded and have a break on site, I think. All right, let's spin around in here. That'd be a bit snug. But we can make it as long as an airline don't burst. Lovely. Right. So yeah, we're gonna crack on to share this. Like I said, we've got to get loaded with um, like cardboard reels. Done it before. And um, if there's anything sharp on the bed, obviously you can cut it. So you've got to sweep your bed out and make sure it's nice and tidy. So that's been done. Um, I don't actually have a brush on me, so I've got to ask to borrow someone else's, but most people are fine letting you borrow it. But we've got to take this corner proper wide because we've got the cars behind us and the tail swing. Look at that, almost straight out. Sweet as a nut. Yeah, so, sheer nest for one o'clock. Probably be there for an hour and a half, including breaking, getting loaded. So that would put it to like half past two, something like that. And apparently it's booked in for half past five in Bista. So it's gonna be a late one tonight, because I think it's a good three hours up there anyway. So we won't be looking to get to Bista until half past five anyway I don't think and then an hour to offload let's say so that's half six and then we'll see what we go what we do from there could be back to the yard or it could be uh go somewhere and park up the night I don't know but it's gonna be a late one tonight we ain't gonna be finished until half past six seven o'clock at, at the earliest I don't think and we've got to deal with this traffic as well here look so lovely let's turn on some air con because I am pretty warm if i don't hurry up and go then no one's gonna let me out it's because of the roadworks see everyone is just going they're not letting me out but i can't go because it's continuously blocked stupid once these cars go i'm just gonna have to block the roundabout up i ain't gonna have much choice i was i'm never gonna get out Come on, mate. And I'm just gonna block the roundabout up now. So the only way I've got, but I've not even blocked the roundabout, look, I've moved for, we've moved off it completely. 
Ah, roadworks. It's because when you're just a long vehicle such, I, such as I am, you're not really supposed to block anything off. So of course you wait until you've got enough room to go. But trouble is, other road users don't see that, that you're waiting for space for yourself. They're saying, oh, there's a space, I'll get in that. And then it makes you, means your space is gone and you've got to wait even longer. It's just stupid sometimes. No one really realises that what we're doing. I mean, leaving space so we can get in. It's like when you are leaving space, like earlier we had that uh, yellow junction, I think it was in this video, and we stopped. But like, sometimes you, you do that and then you go up ahead, you see it's all moving up ahead and you go, and then someone in lane two suddenly goes into your lane and bam, you're now blocked. <laughs> anyway, let's crack on to Sheerness. I'll see you when we get there. Right, we are at Sheerness Docks. Is it this way we go? We've done a load of road works recently. Yeah, it's back. All right, mate. All right. Yeah. Right. Dan's calling me. I don't know why. Dan is a work colleague. I'll call you back, Dan. One sec. Um. It looks very busy. Looks very busy. I think he's going. Or is he parking? Whoa, there's a load of cars been here now. What's with all the cars? That's why it's busy, because everyone, there's less spaces to park up. That's why it's busy. Lots of Fiat 500s, or are they 500s? Or are they a Fiat Abbas or something? Something like that. Look at them all up, loads of them. I think they're 500s. I could probably get 10 of them on the trailer. <laughs> anyway, we've got to um, try and park up now, find a space. Just wait for this lorry to, uh, to manoeuvre. While he's doing that, I can put my uh, hoodie on. Because it's a bit colder out now. Might as well put the IVs on as well while we're waiting. Do, do, do. Lovely, I think he's parked. Is he parked? It's a bit tight there because the cars are parked there. Is there space down here? Space just there, look. So I just realised my microphone is not on. Probably want to close your door down to before I hit it. A bit snug, but we'll get it in. <laughs> Lovely, we're in. A little bit snug. I don't know why these trucks aren't gone back more. Makes it a bit difficult. Never mind. Anyway, let's go get our paperwork. We're in four hours and twenty minutes driving as well, so we've only got. Well, we're on 419, so we've got 11 minutes of drive time left. But we can get down there, get loaded. Once we're loaded, we can have a break on site, and because uh, there's plenty of space down there. And then, um, yeah, we can crack on. So I'll see you in a bit. It's just going to mean a bit of uh, to and fro, really, to get on. It's a bit windy out here. But I do have edge protection in here, so we'll just whack some of them on. Right, that's the edge protection out and ready to go. We've got some on that side, look. That's all ledge protection there. And then I've got some on this side, so I can go down either side and do it. Just means a bit of to and fro, what I was saying earlier, because 
like um, it's gonna be too high for me to actually place from the bottom so I'm gonna to have to use steps to get up and then not only that but I throw a strap over and I start doing it up and it could fall off again so it'd be a case of just going around loads of times just to make sure like they stay on so yeah but we'll get it on we'll get it on right let's go back in the truck so even though I had already brushed it, <laughs> the bed of the trailer, uh, even though I'd already done that, let's put you up there, wasn't good enough apparently. Uh, like the tiniest, tiniest bit of, uh, of stone and he made me re-sweep the whole thing, so just done that. It's fair enough, if they want it swept, I'll sweep it. I just said, if you've got a brush mate, I'll give it another brush, no problem. <sighs> what do you do? It's like literally the tiniest bit of dust really is all it was but it was enough for him to make me want to re-sweep the whole entire bed. So, never mind. Anyway, he's loaded me now. They ain't too high, but it is going to be high enough that I need to use step ladders, but luckily there's some right in front of me. So yeah, we'll get it all, uh, all strapped up and then we can crack on. Right, we're getting there. Uh, all strapped up, all corner boarded as well. You can see the corner boards look on the sides. A uh, little bit of a nightmare strapping this one up. I had a few straps that went wrong, like this one here. <laughs> um, it's wedged in between, I can't get them out. So it's not actually securing anything. So I had to put a double one over. I've done that twice, two different times. So yeah, let me show you the load and full. Here she is. So let's do the curtain up, crack on to Bista. Before we get to Bista, I'm gonna go outside, have a 30 minute break. Then I'm gonna grab the paperwork and then we'll go to Vista. Um, but I will see you in Vista, see you in a bit. So I did say I'll see you in Vista, but I thought I'd give you a quick message now. So um, yeah, we're on our way there now. We're gonna be there for 10 to six, the sat nav says. We've had our break. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna head there. It's another two and a half hour drive, pretty much. The, it says on the paperwork, delivery hub has five. I'm not sure when they shut. I don't know if they're 24 hours or not. It's the latest I'm gonna be there, so I don't know. They might, I might turn up and they tip me. I might turn up and they say we're tipping in the morning. I don't actually know. Um, if they do tip me tonight, then it probably won't be done until like nearly seven o'clock at night. So I don't know what the plan is from there. Could be parking up for the night there. Could be heading back to the water yard. Could be heading somewhere to load up in the morning somewhere else. I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But um, I thought I'll leave a message now because it is getting dark. The GoPro doesn't really do outside darkness any justice. It's pretty good at making it appear lighter than it actually is. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd do a message now while it's light. But the next time you see me, it will be dark. <laughs> so I'll see you in a bit. There's people queuing there for some reason. They're queuing for the bus stop. Right, we are in Vista, just around the corner from where we need to be. It is half past five, and paperwork says half past five delivery, so we're actually gonna be turning up bang on time. So that's good. We made up a bit of time on the M25. There was supposedly some traffic on the way, um, but it must have cleared up as, as we got there, I guess, because there was, we literally only stopped for like a couple of minutes, slowly, and then we we're off again, so. Looks like I caught that at the correct time. Now, like I said earlier, it's half past five. I think I'm gonna be here for at least an hour, so that's half six. Still don't know what I'm doing yet. I'll, I'll message the boss once I'm here, ask him what's next. But I suspect I'm gonna be here for a couple of hours, based on uh, my last two deliveries anyway. I've been here for a couple of hours each time, so yeah, I'm gonna say like half seven we'll leave here, something like that. And then um, I'll probably just go park up somewhere for the night, I guess. We'll see, we'll see. Right, let's uh, move over a little bit to this arch bridge. Oh. And then we want to turn right up here. Yeah, I was tempted to go then, but we're not going to make it. We're going to have to come to a stop. Oh, I'm being flashed. Thank you. So, hopefully there's no one here. Fingers crossed. 
Also, if it, if it is half past seven by the time we leave, we might be able to park up somewhere down here for the night if we have to stop here. Definitely uh, an option, potentially. Let's see. Last time I came here and I vlogged, I sort of stopped halfway round here or something, I think. It was a bit awkward. Oh, there's a truck with hazards on. I don't like the look. <laughs> These curtains are open. Okay, we're turning left before him as well. There's a truck right on the corner. We have to take this quite wide. There's a truck right on the corner. Right here, look. Curtains closed. Ooh. There might not be a lot of room down here to park. We're going to come straight down anyway. Because last time I come down here, this is where we were tipping, so... It looks very busy down here. And we tipped in this corner down here. I think he's waiting for us potentially. Alright mate, he's gone. <laughs> I was going to speak to him but he's just driven off. Let's park here for a sec. Right, let's go speak to someone, find out if they're going to tip us tonight. They should do, we're on time. It's in a bit. Right, we are in. Just a, I don't know where the fault has gone. Curtains are undone. We've undone them from the back to the front this time, rather than back, rather than front to back. Because, um, well, they're basically it's loaded all the way to the back of the trailer, so you've got to undo the curtains the other way. Got a couple of straps, which I mentioned earlier, which got wedged in. They're still wedged in. So when they remove these things out of the way, whatever they're called, cardboard rails, <laughs> we'd be able to then uh, access it. But yeah, as you can see, it goes right up to the back of the trailer. That one there. So we move the curtains to the front first, down there. They take off some of these, maybe two or three. I can then move the curtain all the way back again, and then they can do the front. That's the plan. Um, from here, we will be going straight back to the yard. And then tomorrow, I've got a load for Tottenham, which is probably going to the same place I went to in the last video, so to SIG roofing. And then uh, we're loading for Monday, so probably not gonna record anything tomorrow, because there's no point. So yeah, just waiting for this to be tipped. Let me go home. It's not often I say this, but uh, you can't quite see, but we've got some double penetration happening right now. A forklift either side. Oh, we ain't gonna be here for long. We ain't gonna be here for long at all. There goes one. There goes the other. Double penetration, baby. Yeah. Right, so I've moved that curtain back again. So now that's ready to be fully shut once that side's done. This side, I'm going to let him take one more off, now I'm going to move the curtain over. And then this one will be ready to, to then fully close up as well, but yeah. Love a bit of double penetration. I don't know what double penetration is, ask your mum. <laughs> If you don't know what these are, it's like, um, I think it's just paper re reels. I keep saying cardboard. There's the other side being done now. Um, I think they like print magazines with it or something, so. Yeah. Print magazines. Anyway, I'm going to do the other curtain. Right, we're tipped. We're tipped. Uh, the time is nearly 10 past six. And uh, we got here at half past five. It took about 15 minutes or so um, for them to actually come out and start it. But once they started it, because there were two of them on it, 
it was done like proper quick it was rapid so yeah I got tipped when once they started it was fully tipped in like 20 minutes I think normally what they do is they like put they got to scan it in all sorts but they haven't done it basically they've taken it straight inside and scanning it inside so I've not got to hang around by the sounds of it right I've got to try and get out of here now Right, we're going to hit that trailer like that. There's a forklift there. It's a forklift right behind me. gone now ain't got a lot of room at all I think I've got to go quite a bit tighter I think to get around that corner There's a building just there. Right, now I can see in front. I can go forward, then go backwards. And now I've got enough room to get out, go forwards. So it's very busy today. Lots of pallets all over the place. There's a building there. There's a forklift there. <laughs> very busy. Anyway, we're done. We're strapped up. No, not strapped up. The curtains are done up. The curtains are buckled, are done. They're empty. Heading back to the yard. We should be back to the yard for about half past seven. Um, so I will see you when we get there. It's gonna crack on basically. So I'll see you in a bit. And just like that, we're done. You can't see me. Now you can. <laughs> yeah, just like that, we're done. Um, we're in the yard now. Just parked up. Hang on, I wonder if I... Is that better? It's a little bit better. Yeah, uh, I parked up a little bit like, I don't know, like a Dalek or something. <laughs> Parked up in the yard, we're good to go. We're walking back to the car now. Hang on. I thought I, forgot, I forgot left my car keys. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, we're done. So thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If not, sorry. If you have, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Check my merch out. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.